Hello, my name is Madeleine Neely and I run a little children's bookshop in Northern Ireland and some of you might have already tuned in last weekend. Um, so usually every Saturday at 11.30 a.m. we used to do a story time session um, in our bookshop. Um, it's called We Bookworms, but unfortunately we had to cancel these uh, story time sessions because of the coronavirus crisis. And that's why we decided to do live sessions, live story time sessions every Saturday um, at 11.30 a.m. So you can probably tell I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I'm, yeah, so just to let you know, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, so our first story time session took place last weekend, last Saturday, and it was such, an, such a magical experience. And um, we only had a little technical issue, but otherwise it was absolutely amazing, absolutely fantastic. So um, thanks again for your support. Um, and um, our last time I also mentioned our arts and craft kits and we sold so many of them. I was very busy this week um, preparing all these different arts and craft kits for you guys um, and unfortunately I've run out of um, a lot of um, World Book Day books. So um, our arts and craft kits have changed a little bit now. Um, we've got um, a wee sticker book um, that comes with it and then obviously the arts and crafts uh, supplies. And um, I've heard that a lot of people really love them. So we've got some back in stock, um, but we haven't got too many. Um, we also created um, SOS children's um, book packages. Um, and they are only $7.99. And um, they include um, a beautifully wrapped book and, um, and also um, some arts and crafts supplies. And um, you can also get them on our website so the arts and crafts kits are only three pound i forgot to mention that anyway so um last week i've also introduced you to our little extraordinary um bookshop fairy um she is called Belle, and um she lives um at we bookworms um and she takes care of the books and at the moment um she writes us a letter every weekend so we received our first letter last weekend and of course she wrote us another one um this weekend as well um so i'm going to read this to you in a in a few seconds um but before i'm going to do that um i would like to show you a beautiful illustration that was done by the same artist um she's called um soraya hello soraya and um you can check her art out um uh, uh, on her Facebook page, it's Soraya's drawer. Um, um, she's really great. So you should see the um, the uh, illustration right now. It's our beautiful little bookshop, and you should see Belle. You should be able to see Belle um, as well. She is sitting on the bunting, um, uh, and um, yeah, she she takes good care of our bookshop. So um, yeah, thank you very much, um, Soraya, <laughs> and. Um, so um, I've already mentioned that I'm a little bit nervous and you can probably hear my accent. I'm not um, from Northern Ireland, obviously. I'm actually um, German, uh, but I've lived in the UK for a long, long time. Um, so uh, yeah, just so that you know, just in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, I hope um, you're going to enjoy um, our little tales today as well. And, um, and thank you very much for tuning in again. And um, yeah, so let's see what um, Belle wrote us. She's always putting a lot of effort into this. So let's see. Um, oh, it's quite a long letter actually. Right, okay. Dear children, it's me, Belle, great, great granddaughter of the legendary Tinker, niece of the once famous warrant fighter, Parry Trotter. Most importantly, though, the loyal fairy custodian to the wee bookworms bookshop, tasked with keeping the magic of books alive while we are all at home. Oh, what a week it has been. But first comes first. How are you all? I think our plan is working and the fairy dust from last week has kept the magic of stories alive. I can sense loads of reading power from you all. Mm. How many books have you read this week? I have read 100 books. Can you beat that? I know it isn't easy being stuck at home. Are you bored yet? 
I was tremendously bored this morning until I went for a quick flight around the fairy garden. It was marvellous. The sun was shining, lovely spring flowers were in bloom and, most importantly, the grumpy gnomes were out and about and ready to be chased by me. Obviously, fairy school is off too and I must say I do miss my friends Lavender, Josephine and Heidi and even Mrs. Funky Fairy, our head teacher. She can be quite strict from time to time, but on Fridays she brings us her most marvellous Funky Fairy muffins. My most exciting day was Tuesday. Or was it Wednesday? Weekdays seem to move about and disappear when you don't go to school. On Monday, oh yes, yes that's right, it was Monday. I and my little brother Finn went on, went on an exciting journey, well, to the attic. But my parents' attic isn't just an ordinary, boring and dusty attic. It is the attic for all the fairies in our fairy community. And it hadn't been properly ex explored by two professional attic explorers, like me and my brother, in at least 20 years. So yes, you didn't misunderstand me. There is a huge fairy attic at Wee Bookworms, full of forgotten treasures. As I have mentioned in my last letter, Finn is a rather clumsy brother. And just when we had started exploring the deepest and darkest secrets of the attic, his banana hat fell off, mid-flight of course. He lost all magical flying powers and fell to the ground. Oh no, don't worry. He tumbled into the most wonderful and most secret of all attic secrets. He fell into a huge trunk and landed on his soft and slimy banana hat. Ugh. Oh, of course he was a little scared, as it was tremendously dark in the trunk, and so he immediately called his big sister, me. I went straight after him, and then I sprinkled some of my luminous strawberry fairy dust around, and you won't believe what we found. It was... Oh dear, my mother is calling me. Apparently, I have forgotten to tidy up my room. It is very easy to tidy up your room when you are a fairy. You just have to snap your finger and sing the tidy up song. Do you want to hear it? Tidy up, vidi up, boom. I go and fetch my broom. Tidy up, yuck, yuck, yuck. Has to be done, ba -dum. Oh, I got completely distracted from the attic story. But now, and I'm so very sorry, my dear readers, I've got to go. My mother is getting closer and she doesn't sound very pleased. I know, I know, I should have tidied up my room. But even singing a song and snapping your finger can be rather tedious at times. I will tell you the rest of the story next Saturday and let's practice the tidy up song one more time. Tidy up, vidy up, boom. I go and fetch my broom. Tidy up. Yuck, 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 has to be done, has to be done, Padam. I hope you like your next story time book. I've also sent Madeline some more fat magical fairy dust that should take care of your reading powers until next weekend. See you next Saturday. I can't wait to tell you the attic adventure story. Take care, your bell, kiss, kiss. There you go. I'm very curious what she what type of adventure she had. So you'll, you'll find out next weekend. And she also gave me some fairy dust for you. Right, so I'm gonna sprinkle that around. Am I gonna clean this again? <laughs> and then I have to clean it up again. But um, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. There's a wee cat in my basket. Now this is actually, um, this is actually a soft toy I've had for, I don't know, maybe, no, I'm, I'm not going to reveal my age. <laughs> I've, I've had it since I was five, so quite a while, and um, it's a wee cat. So, we are actually going to read the tale of Tom Kitten. So I thought I'd show you this beautiful little kitten of mine. Still love it. <laughs> and I'm a big fan of cats. People who know me know that I love cats. 
so anyway this um, little tale was also written by Beatrix Potter the tale of Tom Kitten you can see him here I think he looks qu he looks quite surprised so we'll find out uh, what happened to him Once upon a time, there were three little kittens, and their names were Mittens, Tom Kitten, and Moppet. They had dear little fur coats of their own, and they tumbled about the doorstep and played in the dust. But one day, their mother, Mrs. Tabitha Twitchett, expected friends to tea. So she fetched the kittens indoors to wash and dress them before the fine company arrived. First, she scrubbed their faces. This one is Moppet. Then she brushed their fur. This one is Mittens. Then she combed their tails and whiskers. This is Tom Kitten. Tom was very naughty and he scratched. Mrs. Tabitha dressed Moppet and Mittens in clean pinafores and tuckers. Then she took all sorts of elegant, uncomfortable clothes out of a chest of drawers in order to dress up her, her son Thomas. Tom Kitten was very fat and he had grown, serve, he had grown. Several buttons burst off. His mother sewed them on again. When the three kittens were ready, Mrs. Tabitha unwisely turned him out into the garden to be out of the way while she made hot buttered toast. Now keep your frocks clean, children. You must walk on your hind legs. Keep away from the dirty ash pits and from Sally Henny Penny and from the pigsty and the puddle ducks. Moppet and Mittens walked down the garden path unsteadily. Presently, they trod upon their pinafores and fell on their noses. When they stood up, there were several green smears. Oh, oh. Let's climb up the rockery and sit on the garden wall, said Moppet. They turned their pinafores back to front and went up with a skip and a jump. Moppet's white tucker fell down into the road. Tom Kitten was quite unable to jump when walking upon his hind legs and trousers. He came up the rockery by degrees, breaking the ferns and shedding buttons right and left. He was all in pieces when he reached the top of the wall. Moppet and Mittens tried to pull him together. His hat fell off and the rest of his buttons burst. While they were in difficulties, there was a pit, pat, paddle, pat, and the three paddle ducks came along the hard high road, marching one behind the other and doing the goose step. Let's do the goose step. Pit, pat, paddle, pat, pit, pat, waddle, pat. They stopped and stood in a row and stared up at the kittens. They had very small eyes and looked surprised. Then the two duck birds, Rebecca and Jemima Puddle Duck, a very famous duck, picked up the hat and tucker and put them on. Mittens laughed so that she fell off the wall. Moppet and Tom descended after her. The pinafores and all the rest of Tom's clothes came off on the way down. Come, Mr. Drake Puddle Duck, said Moppet. Come and help us to dress him. Come and button up Tom. Mr. Drake Puddle Duck advanced in a slow, sideways manner and picked up the various articles. But he put them on himself. They fitted him even worse than Tom Kitten. It's a very fine morning, said Mr. Drake Puddle Duck. And he and Jemima and Rebecca Puddle Duck set off up the road, keeping step pit, pat, paddle, pat, pit, pat, waddle, pat. 
Then Tabitha um, Twitchit came down. Tabitha Twitchit came down the garden and found her kittens on the wall with no clothes on. Look at them. She pulled them off the wall, smacked them, and took them back to the house. My friends will arrive in a minute and you are not fit to be seen. I am affronted, said Mrs. Tabitha Twitchit. She sent them upstairs and I'm sorry to say she told her friends that they were in bed with the measles, which was not true. Quite the contrary, they were not in bed, not in the least. Somehow there were very extraordinary noises overhead, which disturbed the dignity and repose of the tea party. And I think that someday I shall have to make another larger book to tell you more about Tom Kitten. As for the puddle ducks, they went into a pond. The clothes all came off directly because there were no buttons. And Mr. Drake Puddle Duck and Jemima and Rebecca have been looking for them ever since. I really loved it. I really loved this tale. I think that was it was really cute. Um, so uh, yeah, that was our story time this week. Um, and um, next week um, we are going to um, hopefully gonna we, we, we will receive another letter from our fairy bell. And we will also read another um, story, of course. And don't forget about our um, about our arts and craft kits and SOS book packages. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for listening. And I hope to see you next week again. So thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>